Hey guys, this is Chief Three Star, and today I'm in my Town Hall 10 account, and uh, just showing you another one of these square bases. I've uh, had a video on this before, but uh, you know, it seems like we come across one of these same design bases, very similar to this, almost every single war. And so I'm just starting to record them, so so you can see how consistent this strategy is. Uh, you know, in these in these Town Hall 10 wars, it's so important that you get two per, you know, uh, two stars. Um, it's hard to get three stars. You can go for it, but uh, but there's a higher chance of failing. So I've come up with a safe two-star strategy for this base design. And again, this this design is does work really well if you don't know what you're doing because it's got the strongest defenses in here. You got your uh, infernos, your Teslas are probably in here, and the X bows. And then right around here is a ring of all collectors, no defenses. So the idea is if you come in. Your golems and your giants or whatever split, or your balloons uh, split and just go around the outside, and you never get to that core. So, um, you know, I've come up with a pretty good strategy to, to defeat this, and almost always guarantee a two star. And you can see this is a pretty max base, uh, with exception to the walls. I mean, the cannons level 13, uh, archer towers level 13, level 3 infernos. Level 4 X bows, pretty high level heroes, higher than mine, so I'm coming in, uh, it's not like I'm overpowered, I don't have level 40 heroes, I'm coming in with a 25 queen and I think a 21 barbarian king, so pretty level, um, and anyways I'll get right into this, I've showed this before, but we'll talk about it as I go through, so let me, let me talk a little bit about scouting this base, so um, first off, when deciding what what side to come from on one of these is, is, is fairly important. Um, on this one, you can see I drop a jump spell here, and then uh, two golems. I had a golem and a level 7 giant, and then jump spell over here, two golems. I was a little bit late on dropping my wizards. Usually I dropped two golems, and then the wizards followed right behind, but you see it works out anyways. And let me talk about the reason I decided to come from this side. Typically, um, I'm going for two stars. I'll go. I'll try to just take on one Inferno Tower at a time. So I'd come from over here, and and a lot of times I'll try to take on the Queen first if possible too. But in this one, um, what I don't like about these is that when they have their their heroes on the side, if you come from one of these sides, what happens is your core, your your uh, troops that are headed for the core, the ones you're trying to funnel to the core, get distracted and they end up coming. You can see. Uh, well, you can't see, but if I clicked on this, you'd see her radius comes right out to about here. And so as soon as these things are coming here, they sometimes get distracted, and then you don't get into the core like you need. So I decided to take one of them head on, and I decided to go with the king. Um, only because this side had this. They've built these extra walls with the new update on Town Hall 10, and that would have taken a couple more wall breakers. And also because of how far the queen is away, her... Her reach doesn't reach until right to the edge of the town hall, so it's pretty safe that my guys can get there and get the town hall without distracting her, especially my queen. She'll be shooting from back here and won't even engage the queen. So um, that's why I decided to come from this side. So now let's watch the two golems come in from each side. And the idea is I'm okay with the golems coming around this way. So I drop those things. Again, I forgot to drop my, my wizards. And you see I start dropping my killing crew, my core crew. Um, and then I remember I forgot there was some four over here, four over here, and the rest scattered through here. The idea here is two two golems on each side, and I'm okay with those golems coming and splitting if they want to. They might come this way, but basically I want to clear this out to create a funnel for my killing crew, which consists of two Pekkas, two witches, uh, my heroes, and some wizards, so that when they come, uh, some of these side areas are cleared out. I'll put another jump spell there, and they will get to the core, and you'll see how this plays out. I'm going to go kind of just at regular speed here first, you can see. Once he's getting here, I'm going to drop a couple more wall breakers to get through this wall. So really all I need is enough wall breakers to get through that one, and that one, and three jump spells. So I drop that jump spell early enough that they don't get distracted. They're coming through, and you can see the golems have cleared this side, so now my king and my queen are going to come right in the middle. The pekkas are coming in the middle, and that's exactly what you want to see. Now on this one, when they do, there's a couple different designs on this. Some of these square bases, they come out to a square here, and these stick out a little further. On those ones, you can use wall breakers. If they dip in like this, uh, I just come with three jump spells. One there, one there, and one there. And you can see I place the jump spell far enough back. Some people I see place it up here. The problem is then sometimes your 
your troops start jumping into these compartments. You don't want that. You want them coming into here. So, now you'll just see I drop a free spell on one of those. Because of three jumps, I only have one free spell, but it's fine. And, a, and you want a rage right there in the core, so your P.E.K.K.A.s, your heroes are all raged up, and they're just going to blast through that core. And you can see this is a max base, fairly max base, max defenses. And uh, easily got the 50%. My queen is still full health. And, uh, you know, 60% plus. And that will just speed it up. It's going to end quick. Once she comes into range, there's a lot of max defenses just nailing her. So, But that is it. That's a safe two-star strategy against this base that you see so often. Honestly, I've seen it in my last two wars straight. And you see it in almost every other war as Town Hall 10. Um, I was going to record my other one, but my replay went away. So anyways, that's uh, Town Hall 10. Square base, two-star attack. Uh, you can see my... My army composition, my spells, and uh, that's pretty much what I do every time, with the exception of sometimes more wall breakers and less jump spells if these corners aren't dipped in like that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you in some of your wars. Clash on, hit the like button, and subscribe. Thanks.